Hey guys, Joe here with Local Pro Helper. And are you in search of a new program for your business that basically can run everything? If so, watch this quick video, or hopefully it's quick, on the uh, top three reasons why you should go from a free program such as Joist into paying, you know, could be several hundred bucks a month for a program like Job Nimbus. Okay. And I'll also discuss two reasons why you should not be using a program like Job Nimbus as well. Okay. So let me shrink myself down and I'm gonna show you what we got going on here. So the number uh, or the first reason it, to go to a program like Job Nimbus is the scheduling um, platform that it has. So if you're using something currently like Joist, well, that's great for free and it does professional looking invoices and stuff like that, but there's no scheduling. So then you're stuck using like Google Calendar and like all these different things to kind of make it sort of work. Um, whereas Job Nimbus, it'll do that for you. So it has that uh, functionality in there. Now we actually went from Joist and then we went to Jobber, which is another program, which you can see here. And we actually do still use it for the scheduling um, functionality. We The goal was to move from Jobber to Job Nimbus, um, but we actually are holding off on that because of the limitations that I found within Job Nimbus that'll go over in a little bit. So we're currently using this and then we use Job Nimbus for really the sales and the CRM functionality. Speaking of CRM, that's the next reason why you should go to a program like Job Nimbus if you're using a program like um, Joist or something else that's free. The point of the CRM, and if you don't know what it is, and it kind of seems like a scary word, and it's basically just, a, it's a way to track your customers. It's a way to find out which customers are worth more of your time compared to other customers, okay? Because what happens is if you're not able to put, you know, your potential leads into different buckets that of importance, what ends up happening is you don't end up following up with anyone because if you're like us and we have a ton of leads coming in, well, we're not gonna sit and take hours upon hours every week reaching out to hundreds of people every single week. Like it's just not gonna happen. Um, so that's where CRM is important. And to go through it real quick, um, there's other videos about it, but basically we talk to a customer and then after we talk to the customer, we basically put them into one of four or five buckets, okay? Now there's the first ones here is we have um, just curious. So if they're just starting to get into the process of buying a fence or whatever service you provide, then what ends up happening is we put them in here. You know, they're just curious about the price. They think they might get a fence, but they're not really sure. So we just put them into our column that says just curious. And you can see there's 569 people in here right now, okay? Now we have three other comps. The first one is four plus months. So this is for someone that's definitely getting a fence, but they're like further out, okay? Then we have the people that are in the two to four months. So like it says, if they say that about, you know, two to four months. So for us, you know, it's January. So we're like March to May, we throw them in here. And then if it's someone else like, you know, no, we need this fence in by, by February, then they go into this column. Now, why is that important? Because we have set up automations where, if they go, if they're in this column, then every single week after, oh, I'm sorry, I'm in looking at the wrong one. If they're in the three to six week column, after seven days, then they go into this column right here. So then my salesperson knows that they need to reach out to them and you know see if they need any help, if they're looking to move forward or whatever. And then after they're done talking to that customer, then they take them and put them back into one of these columns. So, you know, if they're still three to six weeks out, we throw them back in here, or if they're pushing it off, then we put them in here, or if they're no longer interested, we end up throwing them in, you know, lost sales or not our customer, okay? And then same thing with the two to four months. So after this is set for 21 days, after 21 days, they go in here and then we follow up with them and then throw them in the appropriate column or move them forward, okay? And the four plus months, that's after six weeks, okay? So it's really helpful. Um, it's, like I said, it looks confusing at first, but it's very simple. It's literally, you just pretend you're putting customers in different areas and then you know which area to go to first so that way you can actually follow up. Because that's the one thing we never did. We, you know, as a company, we got to over, you know, almost, what was it, 1.7, 1. 1. no, 1.6 million in sales 
without ever following up with a single customer, like ever, never. Um, the reason why we are able to do that is because we have so many leads coming in because of the work I've done with Google Ads, which there's videos about that as well. And also because of our reviews on Google, because we are the top rated in the area, even though we are one of the newest in the area. So we never had to worry. But if you wanna go from like 2 million in sales to 3 million, then you have to really start a you know, follow up process. So that's what we're working on. And that's another big reason why to go from Joist to something like um, Job Nimbus. The final thing um, that's really super important to me and another key factor why we switched over from Jobber is the reports that you can get with this. Now these aren't perfect. They still leave a little bit to be desired, but they are a step in the right direction. What these reports do, and it's a dashboard, so you have the reports here, and it's gonna look like gibberish at first, but basically what we do is there's, you know, within every business, there's different numbers that are very important to the, you know, basically the health of that business, okay? For us, the way we work everything is we actually charge to go out to do on-site consultations or quotes. Um, the way we do everything is we start with an instant online price or they can call and get a price right over the phone. And it's a ballpark price, but typically if we tell you it's gonna be 5,500, it's gonna be around 5,500. Might be like 53 to 5,700. And that's because of the GPS programs that are within, um, you know, that defense industry can use. And, you know, if you're in something else, like if you do kitchen remodels or something else, well, can you give them an exact price? No, but you can give out pictures, you know, of a low, medium, and high grade, um, you know, installation. And you can say for the low grade or builder grade or, you know, basic grade, whatever, you have a picture of what that would look like. So if it's kitchen, you know, what the countertops would look like and that kind of thing, the overall look. And you can put like, it includes this, this, and this. And you know, the price is like 8,000 to 15,000. Okay, and then the mid grade, you have a different picture with different quality materials and you get this, this, and this, and it's 25 to 35. And then if you want like, oh my God, like amazing magazine, like whatever quality, then you know, you have that picture of this amazing kitchen that you did, and then it includes this, this, and this, and you're looking between 50 and $100,000, okay? So that's how we do it. The next step is then you go into the onsite consultation. So if they would like to move forward, we say, yeah, no problem. Um, just let you know there's 75 consultation fee. But if you move forward with us and uh, we take the 75 off and put it right towards your job, so it makes it free. Okay, and they're fine with that. So because of that, we track how many consultations we book for the week because we know if we book 10 consultations, we will book eight of those jobs, uh, like seven at the very minimum. Um, but you know, eight, nine, or even 10 of those jobs we will book. So that's a number that's important to us. The other thing that's important to us is I wanna know how many jobs we book for the week. Not only the number of jobs, but I wanna know like, so the revenue, like the total sales. So like if I say I'm gonna, you know, I did $2 million in sales, or if I did $3 million in sales, um, yeah, the number sounds cool, but it's also a vanity metric. Um, with, why do I say that? Because if I'm doing, you know, my company doing $2 million in sales might be just as profitable as someone else doing $3 million in sales. And how does that happen? Well, one, because typically I'm charging more than everyone else. And then the other thing is that we have automated literally everything within the business. So I can run with a hell of a lot less staff than someone else can. That's what has allowed me to, you know, only work like 15 minutes a day for, you know, the last of uh, this whole year. And then last year I was only working about an hour a day. And, um, you know, that was by the fourth year in business, which the first two, I had no idea what the hell I was doing. Um, and only can do it because of the automation and everything else. So long story short, what's important to me is net profit. Okay, so um, the, um, actually this, I don't know why this said, actually net profit, it really should say gross profit, but that's another thing. Um, but anyway, um, the number, another thing that's important to me is the number, um, the, the profit per week. Because what I do, and there's videos about this, is I'll figure out what my bills are for my business, you know, the average bills for the year. So that's things like, what does the warehouse cost me? Like, what do my office employees cost me? That doesn't include like the, um, you know, the people that are installing the fences, but basically all my bills, so like car insurance, car payments, like advertising, like, you know, software, all that kind of stuff. And I'll come out with a dollar amount that I, you know, for the business for a week. 
And then I do the same thing with the personal side. You know, I'll figure out like what my mortgage payments are, what my gas and my electric and all that kind of stuff. And you know, what my vacation savings is gonna be, what my investment savings is gonna be, what my regular savings is gonna be. And then I come up with a number and then I add those two together and I'll say, okay, you need $10,000 per week. You know, just throwing out numbers. So then I can easily look on here and it's like, we only booked $5,900 worth of jobs this week. That's not, you know, basically we need another, you know, if I need a 10,000, then I need another $4,100 in jobs. And um, what this does is allow me to see the health of our business, but then it also gives an incentive to the salespeople as well. Um, because obviously they're based on commission. So they wanna see, you know, if they're booking 5,900 and they're getting 5% or 10% or, you know, 20%, whatever, then they can easily see how much money they're making. So that's helpful. So those are the three main reasons. So you got the scheduling, you got the CRM, and then you got the reporting. The three of those things combined will drastically change your business if you're coming from Joist or Google Calendar or whatever else, okay? Now, there's a few reasons why you should not go to Job Nimbus, okay? And this, um, you know, the first one is inventory. So if you are like a supply company, so you not only do installations, but you supply to other companies as well, or you keep a lot of inventory on hand, which I don't, then what ends up happening is you can't do that with this. So then you're stuck piecing other programs together. So there might be better options out there. Me personally, I it's not important to me, so I haven't looked for other options out there. Okay. The other reason is the advanced automations. Now this will not matter for 99% of you. For me though, like I said, I'm trying to automate every single part of the process. The way we do things is they, typically most people are using our online price tool. And then from there, what we do is we send them automatic emails that are helpful emails. And basically what it does is gets them to um, basically know, like, and trust us as quickly as possible without us even talking to them. Um, so basically we're answering helpful questions. We are um, the, like the most common questions that they have or things that they don't even know about, we'll put in there or maybe things about our company and the different features that we provide that other companies do not. And because of that, what ends up happening and it happens frequently is people will use an online price tool and then they will already know that we charge $75 to come out. And then because even with that, and because we put in the helpful emails, they will actually call and they will say, we're ready to book our consultation, even though we never talked to them yet. Like that's the, that's my personal goal. Again, like how can we, you know, again, we did close to 2 million this year. Like how do we get to 3 million with uh, like only one extra employee, like doing extra million dollars in sales with only one extra employee? And it's because of stuff like this that we do. Okay. And then the final reason that you should not use Job Nimbus or may not be able to use Job Nimbus is the cost. Okay. So as of right now, I had looked into this and for the pricing, um, we personally do, there's three different ones. Um, you could get away with the $35 a month for most people. So, you know, if you have like three or four users, you can do that. We personally use the 75 because of all the other um, integrations that we use <clears throat> and, and with the reporting and all that kind of stuff. Now, so what is a user? A user is gonna be any of your salespeople. Um, it's gonna be account for yourself as the business owner. And then you also need them for each additional um, crew that you're running. Every crew needs their own one, okay? so. What this does is, you know, so if you need five users, then you're looking at like 175 here, or if you need five users here, like you might be at the $400 range, right? So it's, it's, it does cost quite a bit, like it's not cheap. Um, but for me, I always look at, I don't look at pricing. Um, I look at the value for something. So, you know, if it's going to cost me, you know, in this case, like I have three users on it. So it's cost me in like 225 a month, you know, is it, how much, and that's gonna be about just say $3,000 for the year, you know, I don't look at the $3,000. I look at what the $3,000 can get me and from there I can decide if it's worth it or not, okay? So for me, you know, knowing what I know today, $3,000 is more than worth it, more than worth it. Um, you know, you look at how much you would pay in another employee or your own time to figure all this crap out. Well, now you don't have to. So that's why I use it. And then um, trying to think what else. I think that's about it. So all in all, like I said, if you don't have any other experience with anything else, 
Um, like I said before, I started with Jobber. It's a very nice looking program, but it only does scheduling. If you, even if you don't care about the CRM side of things right this second, I promise you, you will in the future if you go from like a little baby company into something bigger, because what ends up happening with the CRM is, um, you're basically gonna gain a hell of a lot more sales just because now you're in a uh, follow-up process. And with Job Nimbus, there is automations that you can do that send out automatic emails and like that kind of stuff. And um, you don't have to do anything, which that's the goal. Like how do we do as little as possible to book that job? So hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. If you know another contractor buddy that could use helpful information like this, tell them to subscribe and also show them this video because it will be helpful. Um, but anyway, have a great day and talk to you soon. Bye.